I'm going to show off a special machine here. This is the earliest, the oldest machine I've ever had. Uh, I've got a few, a few phonographs here, but this one's special. And that's a, it's an Edison suitcase home, but it's from November of 1897. So it's exactly a year in, into production for the whole model, but it's like the first full year of production, which is very nice. This one was found in an auction house in the far end of Cumbria in England uh, in one hell of a state. I think it had been stored in a, in a shed without its lid for decades, probably. It's got the original paint, but only just. Uh, the original carriage was shattered, missing the reproducer, and it was missing its original lid. I managed to find the lid on the on eBay uh, in Germany and I wouldn't be surprised if it was the original lid from the machine because the finish matches obviously the the case looks slightly more worn than the lid does this one has the nice early style mandrel class M style lift mandrel which is nice it would have originally had a standard speaker but I fitted it with an automatic reproducer just because it's a, a little bit a little bit more reliable or a little bit more useful really uh, I've not rebuilt it so this may not sound the best but I am playing in uh, a brown wax cylinder from about 1900 so you know they never sounded the best anyways but this one's a Dan W Quinn singing more work for the undertaker I have already listed this cylinder I played on a, a Columbia Type AT I had a while ago. But I thought I'd play it again on this because it's the only original brown wax cylinder I have and it's quite suitable for this very early Edison home. I'm gonna have to put you right in the horn because it's not the loudest but we'll see how it turns out. phonograph playing a 1900 or a 1901 brown wax cylinder. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> 